Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Apologies about this very yellow lighting. It has been raining all day. It is super gloomy and if I don't have the light on, it is literally gonna look so dark. It's not gonna be good. I'm here to share my June monthly favorites and I actually completely forgot to film my May monthly favorites. May was such a hectic month for me in general that I don't even think I knew what day it was pretty much the entire month. So I completely spaced out and didn't realize until June 1st that I had not filmed a May monthly favorite. So there is actually two items from May that I purchased and loved that I am featuring in this video because I still love them so much that I wanna talk about them. But I am gonna get started with a product that I recently did a very detailed review of and that is the Dyson Air Straight. This is my Dyson Air Straight. If you want to learn a lot more about it, you can definitely watch that detailed review that I did about it. I am still planning on filming a comparison of all of the Dyson hair products because I have the Air Straight, the Air Wrap, the Corral, which is a hair straightener, and then the Supersonic hair dryer. So I am planning on filming that. I just literally have not been able to get around to it. But anyway, the Dyson Air Straight is a tool that you can use on wet or dry hair to straighten your hair. I'm personally more of like a straight hair person. I love having waves and all the kind of stuff in my hair. However, my hair doesn't really hold up curls very well. So then it kind of feels like a moot point to try to get curls on my hair because they just fall very easily. And it's just a lot more work than it is for the end result. So I typically style my hair straight and I pretty much use the air wrap with the straight hair attachments like the paddle brush and the round brush attachments just to get my hair to be straight. Or if I ever air dried my hair and then I wanted to style it for whatever reason, I would just use the Corral hair straightener so that it would be straight. So when Dyson came out with this product where you can literally straight out of the shower with wet hair, dry your hair and style it so that it's straight. This was literally a game changer for me. It makes it so easy. In 15 minutes or less, I'm able to go from wet hair straight out of the shower to fully styled hair. And that has been so good for me because I would feel like sometimes I just didn't have the energy to wait for it to air dry and then use a corral or I felt like the air wrap didn't achieve quite the same results of having like fully straight hair. Like it felt a little frizzy. And so I felt like sometimes I was just like, forget it, I'm just gonna air dry it and my hair looks a little puffy, especially with the Miami humidity. So I was like, I don't like it, but whatever, it is what it is. I would try to just put it up with like a hair clip or something. But now I feel like having this, I'm able to just like wash my hair and style it so quickly that I'm like, I actually love having my hair straight and styled and it feels so much better than just letting it air dry. Also, the Dyson technology is really good about protecting your hair. So obviously it is still heat and it is still going to be worse than not using the product at all. But compared to other hair styling or like heat styling tools, it doesn't feel as damaging as some of those do. In fact, I would say it does not really feel damaging at all. Like I feel like my hair still looks pretty healthy and feels pretty healthy. Anyway, I have been using this pretty much every day because I also use it on dry hair. So if I feel like my hair is not as straight anymore and I want to restyle it or, you know, correct that, I definitely use this again on my dry hair. It does have that setting so that you can use it on wet or dry hair. And I have been loving this so much. Much. And again, if you want to check out the entire review and see how this fully works and, you know, comparison from using it from wet hair or from dry hair, I do have that on my video. Now, next up is one of the products that I enjoyed in May and I wanted to feature this month because it was just so good that I felt like it deserved a spot. And that is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I am a huge Emily Henry fan. I have read all of her books and I love them. And I would say Happy Place is actually my favorite. I know there are some mixed reviews about it. So some people don't enjoy it, but I personally feel like this is the best one yet. I really connected in a lot of ways with the main character, and so I think that that obviously also makes a huge difference is when you can actually relate to a character in a book or a movie or a show, it does make a huge difference. And I really enjoyed it, and I feel like it is a perfect summer read because the book takes place in the summer, and it is actually in Maine, which I am now really wanting to go to Maine because not just from the book, but I keep seeing it on my Pinterest and TikTok and everything, and it looks so fun and just such a beautiful like i feel like a northeastern summer in the u.s is just gorgeous so i feel like i want to experience that at some point with either maine or nantucket i would love to go to nantucket the hamptons something like that i feel like it looks so beautiful but anyway this book has the perfect summer vibe it is ro a romance book and it has a happy ending i will say that because I, i'm a sucker for happy endings but the story doesn't just focus on the romantic relationship with the main characters 
it also has like a lot of friendship because it is basically like they're all together at their summer house and just spending the summer together the guys and the girls and it goes through like their relationships obviously the main focus are the two main characters their names are harriet and Wynne, but you also get a lot of backstory about their friendship with the other you know like the other people in the group the relationship that each of those characters have with their significant others and all this kind of stuff so it just felt like being in this nice little world with these best friends having a wonderful summer together and i really loved it i honestly i think i read this book in two days if i'm not wrong i devoured it i was so happy i literally i stayed up so late just so that i could keep reading it which is not good for my sleep but it was just so good so i highly highly recommend this one i do love emily henry if you have not read any of her other books i still recommend you read all of them literally she has never done me any wrong. And since I just shared a May product, I figured I'll share another one, which is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I actually featured this, I think, in one of my Pack With Me videos. I think the one for Charleston is where I talked about taking this one with me. This is the mini size, the travel size, sample size. I bought this one at Ulta at Target, and I've had it already, I think, for like two months, maybe a little bit more. So even the sample size go, goes a long way. But I am loving this serum. It really does make your skin look like glass. Like it, it just really brightens your skin, but at the same time gives it this beautiful glow and it has amazing reviews. So it's not just me. I actually heard about this because it went viral on TikTok a while ago and it was like all over my FYP, but I was like, you know, whatever. Like I'm, I'm fine with my skincare routine. And then I saw it at Ulta and I was like, wait a minute, I heard about this. I'm gonna give it a shot. And it is honestly worth the hype. It was really, really good. I've been loving it. I'm definitely gonna continue using it. Once I run out of this one, I'm gonna try to get the full size sample. Though I did buy a Peach and Lily trial set, I think is what it is. So I'm still waiting to try that. I literally, I have it sitting downstairs. I don't know why I haven't opened it yet, but I need to try that. I'm gonna review the Peach and Lily skincare line as well. But just know that this glass skin refining serum is literally amazing. 100% recommend. It works great on my sensitive skin and I've had zero issues. Another item or items I wanted to share. These are my Little Words Projects bracelets. I have four right now. I got two from an event that we actually did partner with them here in Miami. And so one of them was actually part of the gift bag that they gave us. One of them I bought. One of them I got as a gift for my friend. And then another one I got at Target. So I have one that says I am enough. I hope you can read them right here. But why I am enough, I got this one. The be chill one was a gift for my friend. Clearly I definitely need to be chill and she was right for that one. Then I have Dream Big. This is the one that I got at Target. And then I have Spread Joy. This is one of the ones that I got for free at the event. And basically they're just bracelets with words or phrases that will help you, you know, like have reminders for the day. So I Am Enough is definitely one of my favorite ones. I've, I'm very big on affirmations. I actually have the I Am Affirmations app on my phone. It constantly sends me reminders of affirmations. Like it'll be notifications. I have it on my lock screen of my phone as well so that I can read them there. I also have it on notifications my watch which i'm actually not wearing right now because i'm taking a day off of technology today but it does have really beautiful reminders and so i love any affirmations that are i am and having this one on a bracelet that i can see all the time is actually beautiful be chill as i said i literally do need to learn how to manage my stress i think i've mentioned about that in a like few videos on here and one of my friends she recently learned about little words projects and she became obsessed with it and so she ordered a few of them one of my friends that we went to charleston with and so she when we got to charleston she gifted us each a bracelet and mine was be chill i 1000 percent agree with her i do need to learn how to be chill so something that i'm working on definitely being chill learning how to relax learning how to just go with the flow more definitely something i'm working on but i like having the bracelet as a reminder dream big is one that i found at target and it just really spoke to me i feel like i've been going through a process of really growing a lot of areas professionally i don't think i've even talked Talked about this here on YouTube but I co-host Hawker Walk Miami and it is super fun every Saturday we get together with a bunch of girls in Miami and we go on a walk and it literally sounds so simple but it is so fun just building those connections it has really helped me make Miami more of a home it feels a lot more homey now because I'm able to get to know people that are you know like-minded and very kind and so it has been amazing really i've pretty much met all my best friends now from hawker walk miami and seeing that other girls have had the same experience is just so amazing and so 
that's something that I'm really working on with one of my best friends is just really building that out and making sure that we can create a community in Miami where people feel welcome and loved and like they have that ability to connect with others. And so that's one of the dreams that I've been working on is just really growing that. And obviously I really wanna keep growing on YouTube and becoming a better creator. And so that's something also that I've been dreaming about. And so I just love having this bracelet as a reminder of, you know, just don't doubt yourself, feel like you can dream, you have the ability to do so. I've always considered myself a dreamer and I feel like as we grow up, we start losing some of that just because we start thinking of the expectations that we have and what's safe versus taking a risk and stuff like that. And so I think that for me, this is just like a reminder of go back to being that little girl that used to dream so big and had no fear about anything. And so sounds cheesy, but it helps seeing it every day. And then Spread Joy was one of the ones that they gifted us when we partnered with them, which I think is amazing. It's just the opportunity to really make sure that everything you do is in a way helping others and spreading joy and making this world a happier place. And one really cool thing about Little Words Projects and one of their main appeals, I guess, besides having words on bracelets is that you're supposed to pass this on when you don't need it anymore. So all of the bracelets, they have these little codes here so that you can track them. You register them when you get it and then you can basically track them. Obviously it's, it's not a tracking device, like it doesn't know your location, but you basically say like, oh, this person in Miami has it right now. You know, like Monica in Miami has it right now. And so if I pass it on, like if I say like, oh, I think that you need this bracelet that says I am enough. I think that it has fulfilled a purpose for me. And I think that I, I hear you, I see you, and I think that you deserve this. So I want to pass it on to you. And I give somebody the I am enough bracelet and they can go ahead and register it and basically say, this was passed on to X person in New York or whatever. It's just basically an opportunity to show where these words have made an impact and how far they're moving along. And lastly, something that is not emotional at all. <laughs> These are my new headphones. These are the Sony's XM4 and they are no noise canceling headphones. And I got them recently because we were going, we went to Chicago in like this month and I wanted to have some noise canceling headphones for the plane because I feel like I just get so distracted with the noise of the plane and the pilot and all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to just go in my little world and listen to music while I was reading on the flight there and fly back. So I got these headphones. And like I said, these are the XM4. They have a longer name, but that's basically their abbreviated name. And I gotta take these off because they're noise canceling even when they're not on and I can't hear anything. So anyway, what are really nice about them is they're so compact, you can travel with them because you can fold them. They obviously have the case that they come in and you can obviously keep them there. It does have the cable so that you can use it if you need to plug it into the plane. This is for when you need to charge them. And then, you know, if you just wanna use it as a regular headset, that, you know, you can plug them in here if you don't wanna use them as Bluetooth headsets, which I pretty much have only used them as Bluetooth head headsets so far. It's super easy to connect them to your phone and they do have an app. It's the Headphones Connect app and it's just like a Sony app that can help you set it up if you want to adjust the different, you know, areas of the headphone. Like maybe you want like a higher bass or whatever, however you, you call that i'm very much like a casual music listener i'm not like one of those people that is like oh you need to like increase the bass or like you know increase the vocals here or reduce the noise whatever i don't even know what i'm talking about clearly so i'm just more like whatever the music is that's coming out of my phone that's that's fine by me and i just want the noise canceling feature and so i got these ones after doing a lot of research on tiktok i feel like tiktok has become my google now and i originally wanted the apple airpods pro max i think is what it is airpods max the airpods max what am i saying i wanted those because one they look so aesthetic they're nice blah 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 all that kind of stuff but they're like 600 dollars. not worth it for headphones honestly and i went to the apple store and i tried them on and for my ears they didn't feel very comfortable like my ears on my head in general I have a small head. I literally have to wear like kids hats. And so most headphones are just super uncomfortable for me. These ones are actually small enough where they fit. I mean, they still, they don't stay in place for me like they do for most other people because of the small head situation. So like if I move back, they're gone. So obviously there's no way that I could ever run with these. Not that I would run, I'm not a runner. But if you're somebody that works out and has, you know, you're a runner and you wanna wear headphones when you're running and you have a small head, Maybe not these. So I can literally just put these on and keep them there. But if I like look down or if I like, you know, like they start moving very easily, clearly. And if I go back, they also just fall off. So not ideal for that, but that is literally a personal problem. If you have a normal size head for an adult, you should be fine. At least from the reviews that I watched on YouTube, on TikTok, I mean. 
So anyway, I didn't go for the AirPods because of one, the price, and then two, they just didn't feel very comfortable when I went into the Apple store and I tried them. I also was looking in between these ones and the XM5, which is the newer version of these ones. And ultimately, people were saying that they preferred the XM4 because of the just like travel functionality because it just it's so you know easily stored that you can just travel with them a lot more easily and that's literally the reason why i wanted to get these was so that when i'm traveling i can use them in the headphones and, and the plane as headphones when i'm in the plane and so that was a big one for me was i want some that are just very easy to store and don't take up too much space so that was a huge feature and i also looked at the bose headphones and i actually don't remember why i didn't go with those i think that most people were actually saying that they preferred the sony so anyway these went on sale on amazon they were like 230 i think when i got them and so they went on sale and i was like let's do it i love a good sale and actually amazon prime day is coming up july 11th and july 12th and so maybe they'll be on an even bigger sale i don't know we'll see but i'm just saying if you want to buy some technology that may be a little bit pricey july 11 and 12th amazon prime day definitely a great opportunity anyway these are comfy they have good really good noise canceling when i was on the plane like i literally did not hear a single thing you can cover your right ear like when you're wearing wearing it you can cover your right ear and it stops the noise canceling feature so if somebody's talking to you you can literally just go like this which i know i can look a little bit silly but you just go like this and it stops the noise canceling feature they're comfy they i was fine the entire flight which was almost three hours no headache no nothing sometimes i do get like a little bit of a headache when i'm wearing like a headband and stuff and so I felt like maybe this would cause that, but no issues, no issues when wearing earrings. I don't have piercings though, I just have my regular earrings, but there were no issue there, no like uncomfort or anything like that or discomfort. And I've used them quite a few times and I've only charged it once so far. It's supposed to have, I believe a 30 or 40 hour battery life and I've had it for almost the entire month and no issues. So if you're looking for some headphones, these are definitely some good ones. Anyway, those are my June monthly favorites. I should say maybe June and May monthly favorites since I did throw in a couple from there. I hope you like learning more about new products, some of the products that I genuinely have been enjoying and using. And I will make sure to leave a link to all of these in the description in case you would like to shop any of them. But if you have any questions or you wanna learn anything more about these products or you wanna share your opinion or anything, you can do so in the comments section. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.